so has everybody joined in can we start excellent uh, so today uh, we will look at uh, literature search using pubmed so the objective of any new research uh, should always be to add new new knowledge to the existing knowledge and to figure out what has already been done what are the gaps we need to know uh, and we need to be able to search for this literature hold on i think somebody is trying. so today we will uh, use this tool called pubmed uh, which is a search tool which searches the medline database uh, yeah it uses the medline database and uh, this is a database of uh, abstracts and references that search uh, that are on the topics of life health sciences and medical sciences uh, this is maintained by the united states medical library so going ahead this presentation will have three uh, broad areas the step one would be conceptualizing our search strings so we here we will look at we will un try and understand our question so every time you want an answer you will have to ask the right question and then we will try and see how to mold this question so that pubmed is also able to understand this question right uh, the second area we cover is certain standard pubmed search strategies and finally we'll look at a couple of advanced pubmed search features uh, starting with conceptualizing our search string before we start we need to understand our question right so uh, this question can be something very broad uh, as our research question that we've just framed or it can be very narrow as uh, what is the magnitude of a disease so uh, whatever your question be uh, we need to understand this question and to understand this question what we need to do is we need to break this question down into its uh, fellow keywords so for this presentation let me uh, go through this as an example so let this be a research question that you are trying to find answers to and uh, the question And the question is, do female patients with COPD have higher exposure to these three risk factors, that is poor ventilation, low combustion fuels, or passive smoking? And this is as compared to healthy females. So we've al already seen how research questions are framed. This is one of them. Now what we need to do is we need to break this question down into its fellow keywords. So what keywords can you think of in this question? Uh, those keywords you need to uh, pick out. So for this question, the keywords that I can think of are female, COPD, poor ventilation, low combustion fuels, passive smoking. So these are five uh, words that are the bricks of this question. And uh, they uh, constitute the question. So the next step, step two here, would be to expand these keywords. So now we have keywords like female, COPD. But these are not uh, these terms may be used in different forms also. So females can also be used as women, girls. COPD can also be used as uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, airway disease, emphysema, and so on. So what we the next step would be to expand these keywords uh, and to find synonyms for these keywords. So. Uh, COPD, uh, these are all the synonyms for, the, uh, for COPD. Uh, is my voice clear? OK, great. So what we are doing is we have we're finding synonyms for our uh, keywords. So COPD can be chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. 
airway disease, bronchitis, emphysema, poor ventilation can also be termed as smoke uh, trapping, doors, windows. Uh, these are all terms that are related to our keyword and so on. So for medical terms, what we will need to do is we will have to use our medical knowledge, our textbooks, our teachers, we will have to ask around. Uh, for English words, we can use uh, a thesaurus. Thesaurus.com is a good reference. Uh, but synonyms can easily be found uh, for English words. Before we move ahead, uh, there's a concept of Boolean operators that we must be familiar with. So like I said, uh, those keywords were the bricks of your search. Uh, Boolean operators are your mortar. So this is the cement that is going to connect these keywords together. And there are three Boolean operators. And these are and, A-N-D, and, or, O-R, or, and not. So these are the three words that will connect all of our keywords together. So let us uh, see how these uh, keywords work. So as an example, we have two circles here. One is a red circle, and one is a blue circle. Uh, these colors represent topics. So all articles from red topic all articles from blue topic. And then there is an overlap area also, which represents topic that contain both these two topics, red also and blue also, right? So when I use the Boolean operator or, when I search with red or blue, what I get is everything from the red circle, everything from blue circle, and also everything from the overlapping area. So this is a very broad search. So whenever I search for red, or I will get uh, everything from these two topics. The next Boolean operator is not. So this operator we use to exclude a topic. So here we are searching for red, not blue. And what we get is only the red circle. We will also have, uh, we will also exclude the overlapping area. So only this crescent shape uh, is the uh, is the output that we will get when we search for red, not blue. When we search for blue, not red, we'll get the opposite crescent, shapes, crescent which is the blue crescent. So an example here would be, uh, we may want to search for HIV, and we may, uh, when we are searching for HIV, we're getting a lot of searches about tuberculosis also. So these two diseases usually coexist. So when we, whenever we are searching for tuberculosis, we're also getting a lot of HIV. And what we want is, I only want uh, topics that are about tuberculosis, and I do not want topics about HIV. So I can search for tuberculosis, not HIV. So I will only get tuberculosis articles, and any references to tuberculosis will be excluded from here. So only this uh, crescent will be shown. The last Boolean operator is and, and this Boolean operator will give you a very concise result. So wherever you want to search for two topics together and both need to exist, we will use and. So here, uh, what we are doing is we are searching for red and blue, and we will only get results from this overlap area. So this small overlap area is, uh, is all that we will get. So when we search for tuberculosis and uh, HIV, we will only get articles that talk about it, talk about tuberculosis and HIV both. Pure HIV topics, pure tuberculosis topics will be excluded. So with this understanding, uh, we will move ahead. And the next step in creating our search string is searching for all our keywords and its synonyms with the Boolean operator OR. Now, when we are searching with OR, what we are doing is we are searching a broad key. Uh, we are doing a broad search. So our first search here, so hash one is our first search, is COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or chronic obstructive airway disease or chronic bronchi bronchitis or emphysema. So now the results I will get is any article that talks about any of these will be given to me. We will see how this uh, works in real time when we are uh, when we see the live demonstration. And similarly, what we've done is we've searched for all other keywords also. 
And the final step uh, in this puzzle is now we need to logically put all of these uh, keywords uh, searches together to form a logical question. So here our question was whether COPD uh, along with uh, any of these risk factors uh, is a risk factor of, uh, uh, of health for women. So what I have done here is I have put these questions logically together. And now what I have done is I have searched for COPD. I have searched for the second, third, and the fourth risk factors, that are the three risk factors with or. So now again, I have broadened my search. And then I have searched it with the keyword risk factor also. So now this is the logical uh, method of uh, creating my search uh, string. Uh, we will do this uh, live, and I think you will get, have better clarity when we do that. So uh, for those of you who are able to, please go to pubmed.gov, which is the official PubMed website. Uh, I will also do this live, so you should be able to see it uh, here. So this is the PubMed website. Uh, this is a new redesigned website. So those of you who have used this before, this looks very different now. Uh, so in the middle, you see a search box similar to what we have seen in Google. And then there's a search button. And it is quite uh, straightforward uh, from here. So our first step. Uh, was search our first keyword with the Boolean operator R. So what I will do is I will I will paste my search search string. So this is uh, my first search string with the Boolean operator R, and I will click on search. So now what you've seen is something again similar to what Google gives you. Uh, you will see a list of results. Uh, on the top, you will again see what you've searched for. Uh, here you see result number one, number two. So these are all specific articles uh, about this topic that we've searched for. Uh, this uh, title is the title of the article. Under that is the list of authors, followed by uh, the journal where it was published, the year where it was published, uh, and its uh, location in the journal. You will also see a PubMed ID. So this is a specific ID uh, where uh, by which you can locate the same article again in PubMed. This is PubMed ID. And then you also see a glimpse of its abstract. So a short form of the article, you will see the beginning of it. And you will see all these uh, articles one by one. On the left hand side, you will see a couple of filters. We'll have a look at this uh, later again. but. Uh, now, this is our first, first search, and this is how it looks like. Now, before we can move ahead, what is important is we uh, understand that PubMed has understood what we have tried to tell it. So to do that, there's a button called Advanced under the search. When we click on that, we will be taken to this page uh, just to make just to be sure, am I uh, audible and is the screen visible to everyone? Yeah, great. So now, uh, because I've only searched once, uh, you will see that there is a uh, section called history and search details. So again, hash one, this is my first search. Uh, there, is, there are a couple of options that I can do with this search. And then there's a button called Details. When I click on this, I will be shown what I searched for. So this is exactly what I searched for. And this is what PubMed made up made of it. So PubMed expanded my search. And then I will see some translations. Now, these translations are very important. So PubMed is a little smart, and it tries to uh, expand your keywords further. 
So what I gave PubMed was COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, chronic obstructive airway disease, uh, chronic bronchitis and emphysema. And what PubMed did was it expanded these keywords even further. It broke it down into further keywords. So it is important that you go through them and ensure that PubMed has translated these things correctly. So uh, to understand what this was, what we will do is uh, we will do our second search, which was poor ventilation, smoke trapping, doors and windows. And yeah, so this was our search. I will do the search. And now I have around 97,000 articles here. I will again go in advanced. And you will see that my search number two is visible. Before I go further, what you must understand is PubMed will also tell you how many results are there. So for COPD, it found almost 1,15,000 results. Now, sometimes this can be overwhelming. So there is no way that you will be able to go through so many articles. You will be able to even read the titles of so many articles. So at this stage, when we are using the Boolean operator or, it is important to understand that this is a broad search. And we will uh, try and narrow this down and make it more precise uh, as we move ahead. But at, at this stage, more the results we have, the better it is, because we are trying to have a broad search. Again, going back to uh, our poor ventilation search, when we look at the details here and look at the translation, what we see is uh, PubMed has looked at poor and it has, and now it thinks that poor means poverty and it has searched for poverty as a term. Uh, and now we will have articles that, that talk about poverty also. And this is something that we do not want. So what we can do here is we can modify our uh, search. So let's get rid of power poor here. Let us only look at ventilation and search again. And now when I look at my search number three, what we see is that that poor has gone away and only ventilation, smoke, trapping, and windows is what is uh, kept. Everything else is removed. What you will also see is a drastic change in the number of search results. So with poor, we had only 97,000 results, while without poor, we have 4,30,000 results. So because PubMed was also looking at poor all the time, uh, it uh, was narrowing down our search. And now without poor, we have a much broader search. So what we will do is we'll quickly uh, search for the other keywords also. So what you can see is instead of searching and looking at the search page every time, I am just adding these searches to history. So uh, number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. So these are the new searches that have come in without me having to see the entire page. So most of the times, what you will want is you just want those searches to be there so that you can use them again later. We'll see how, to, how we use them again. So now that we have uh, these six strings of searches, uh, number two and number three are the same. We will use number three instead of number two. Uh, what we can do now is we can uh, club these things together and finally get our results. So again, as you can see, the search number one, hash one, instead of typing in the entire uh, string of uh, words here, what we can do is just type in hash one. And now if I search, I will get results for search number one. So these are exact same results, exact number of results. And even here, what we see is your number seven query is again, same as your number one query. So what we will do is hash one, and this is the Boolean operator and that we are using. Hash three, we are not using number two search. So uh, we've all probably, red maths and i am sure we are all familiar with a concept called bod mass 
So BOD mass uh, is basically uh, the sequence of operations in mathematics. And B in BOD mass means brackets. So wherever you add brackets, those brackets will get solved first. So these brackets will get solved first. Uh, so now hash 3 or hash 4 and hash 5, this search will get uh, searched first. And then one, the result of these this bracket and search uh, 6 will get added together in a more concise search because we are using Boolean operator and. And now when I'm clicking on search, what you will see is I am only getting 1,783 results. So this is a much more manageable uh, number. And uh, this is a number which I can probably skim through. I can make my result more concise, more precise uh, by adding more Boolean, uh, more Boolean operators, more keywords as I, as I see fit. But given that my question was pretty broad, I will get a lot of results. So uh, there are a couple of uh, things that I would like to focus on uh, before we move further. Uh, one is use of quotation marks. So using uh, just a keyword, so for example, we search for risk factors. And using quotation marks here, now what it does is it does not search for anything else. It only searches for this keyword. When I go into my search history, you can see the number six and number nine. Although words say, but because I use quotation marks, if I am looking at the translations here, it is only looking at the, the words risk factors in all fields. That is it. While here, uh, when I am not using quotations, it is uh, we are giving it a free reign. And it is also looking at risk separately, factors separately. Uh, we'll also look at what mesh terms here are. Uh, you'll have a better understanding later. But it is also searched risk factors as a mesh term. Uh, we'll see what that is later in this presentation. And you will also see that the number of results is, are also different. So quotations and without quotations make a difference here. Again, uh, next thing that we will uh, want to see is filters. So our question uh, was, do female patients with COPDs uh, and have higher exposure to these as compared to healthy females? While uh, we never use the, uh, we, the word females here, we never use that keyword here. So what we can do is we can click on uh, the number eight results. So these are the results. And on the left hand side of your uh, results page, you will see a couple of filters. So I'm sure all of you have used uh, Amazon Flipkart to do your online shopping. And whenever you want to buy, buy something specific, what you do is you will try and filter things out. So if I want a black t-shirt, what I will do is I will filter uh, clothing first. I will then go to the sub filter called t-shirts. I will go to the size that I want and filter that. I will go to the color that I want and filter that. And I will be shown only a subset of articles that probably uh, meet my requirement. So again, uh, similar to that, what we have is a couple of filters here. Uh, so whether this text is available free of cost, only the abstract is available, or full text is available, uh, whether associated data is also available, whether it's a book, clinical trial, meta-analysis, these are the dis different types of studies. What type of study are, th are these? When was this published in the last one year, five years, 10 years? Then there's a button called additional filters. And when I'm clicking this, I will see that I have a lot of options here. So the article type, where only four were visible in the uh, open box, we have a huge number of uh, types of articles here. If we only want human trials, we do not want animal trials. We can select only human. If we only want English uh, studies and not other language studies, we can do that. But we want 
that the moment you are restricting your search to a specific language uh, you are restricting uh, articles from other languages and that means you're restricting knowledge from those articles so although i understand it is difficult to interpret those uh, those papers but again uh, that effort needs to be made and uh, that information should also be a part of your review uh, again uh, for our example we are going to select only females so we are only looking at female subjects and we will filter our uh, search with females we can also uh, look at specific uh, subjects and filter things out so we only want systematic reviews only hiv aids uh, research only cancer research complementary me uh, medicine research we can uh, filter by journal types and we can also filter by age groups so if you are only looking at children or if you are only looking at adolescents or only looking at geriatric population only the middle aged so we can do that by filtering by appropriate age labels so what pubmed does is pubmed uh, searches medline which indexes all these articles and automatically tags them so whenever a new article is submitted to medline it will automatically type tag in what type of article it is whether it is a human uh, study or a animal study what language is it whether it is on males females or both uh, where what journals were is what age group was this so all these things were filtered and now uh, if i will search only for females and only for humans what you will see is this filter was applied by me and now instead of 1700 articles i only have 1100 articles so again i have uh now a lot of time what happens is you are trying to search for something so for example i am looking at uh, i am trying to uh, create that uh, prioritization matrix that we've all done and i am trying to look at say the magnitude of copd and i come across an article that uh, absolutely fits my description so this article is a descriptive article that talks about what is the magnitude so the prevalence is the incidences of uh, copd in india and it is focused uh, on central india so very uh, uh, very relevant to my study so what do i do then so let me go into one of this articles and let us for an example think that this is that article that is very relevant to me uh, so this is that uh, result page for a single article where you can see the title of the article on the top the author names their affiliations where are they from pubmed id and the complete abstract here so this is the entire abstract from that article if we keep going down you will see a section called similar articles now again this is a place where pubmed is using its algorithms to find articles that are very similar to this article and now uh, the primary article that we're looking at is the pathology of Uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and the similar articles are lung structures and functions in copd mast cells and copd so these are all articles that are very re related to our our primary articles and then there's a button called uh, show more similar articles or see all similar articles so when we click here we are taken to a search page where we have similar articles uh, for our primary article and now what we you will realize is all these uh, so around 178 articles they are all very similar to our primary article so when you find an article that is uh, very true to your question you might want to look at similar articles and this will uh, really help you find uh, answers faster so it's a very very uh, wonderful feature that pubmed gives you and uh, it helps you find answers much faster so this was uh, basically how you do a standard search in pubmed and some advanced features that you can use to again make your search results more appropriate and more concise while uh, still ensuring that you have all the information that you need uh, now if we go back to the pubmed home page 
uh, on the bottom right, you will see a button called Explore. And under it, there's a button called Mesh Database. Now, when you click on this, you will be taken to a uh, website called Mesh. Now, Mesh is Medical Subject Headings. So when we were looking at PubMed, PubMed was uh, a search engine that would search uh, topics uh, and basically articles. What Mesh does is it is going to search uh, medical subjects or topics. So if I want to search for, say, COPD, and when I go to Mesh and I'm going to search for COPD, and when I'm clicking on search, the output is not articles. The output is topics. So the first topic that you can see here is pulmonary disease, comma, chronic obstructive. The second is asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, overlap syndrome. The third is COPD, severe early onset. So these are three uh, topics that are related to my search. And what I feel is the first result is most appropriate to what I was trying to search for. I will click on that. And now I get to the results for this topic. Here, what you see is this is the way PubMed or Mesh categorizes chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So it is a pulmonary disease, which is chronic obstructive. This is a specific form in which uh, Mesh will categorize uh, uh, COPD. Now, if I want to search for all articles related to COPD, what I can do is I can add this to Search Builder. And on the right hand side, you can see that this specific topic has been added here with mesh in square brackets. And now when I click on Search PubMed, what has happened is PubMed has searched specifically for pulmonary diseases, chronic obstructive as a mesh term. And now what I did not have to do is I did not have to take effort uh, for finding synonyms for COPD, which I had to do when I was normally searching. So now PubMed has searched for all articles that were automatically tagged with this mesh term. So this is a specific term that is used and tagged with all articles that are related to COPD, right? Now, if I go back to the COPD page, uh, if I was not looking for all COPD related articles, but I was only looking at the epidemiology of COPD. So if you go down here, you will see a list of subheadings, which start with analysis and end with virology. And here in the middle somewhere, you will see epidemiology. So now that I've selected epidemiology, and now if I click on add to search builder, what you will see is pulmonary disease, chronic obstructive, and followed by epidemiology. Now, if I will search here, I will only get a subset of articles that talk about the epidemiology of COPD only. So now you can see that the search results are 9,000, whereas the mesh term for COPD was 55,000. So only about a fifth of the articles were talking about the epidemiology of COPD. Going back uh, to the mesh page, what you can do is you can also search for multiple uh, subtopics or subheadings here. So anatomy and histology and epidemiology. And I can, again, search for both of them together. What you will notice is it has cleverly put in the Boolean operator or here in the middle of these two mesh cat uh, terms because I have selected two. So to understand this page further, what you can do is you can go down here and see the entry terms. So these are terms uh, that PubMed and Mesh thing are very similar to the search that I have done. So I had searched for COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, chronic obstructive airway disease, uh, COAD, lung disease, and so on. These are all terms that are either synonyms or very similar to the term that I have used. Again, if you go further down, what you will see is previous indexing. What previous indexing means is that how was this same term categorized previously? 
So from 1971 to 2001, this same term was categorized as lung disease, comma, obstructive. While after 2001, this changed to COPD. And before that, this was termed as pulmonary emphysema from 1965 to 1971. So the history of this term is also here. And finally, you will see how MESH categorizes everything. So in all MESH categories, what you will see at second step is disease categories. Here you will see, because COPD is a disease, we are under the disease category branch of this tree. Otherwise, the other ca category branches are anatomy, organisms. Uh, again, disease is one of them, probably chemicals, drugs, and so on. Again, under the disease categories, this is a respiratory tract disease. Among the respiratory tract diseases, it is a lung disease. It is an obstructive lung disease. And it is a chronic obstructive lung disease. What we can do is we can make our search narrower. So from within chronic obstructive lung diseases, we have asthma, we have chronic bronchitis, and we have pulmonary embolism, which are subcategories for the same topic. This uh, COPD encompasses these. So we can decide to get na narrow, or we can decide to get broader. So if I am not looking at only chronic dis obstructive diseases, and I want also acute diseases, I can click here. And I am going one step higher in the hierarchy. And now what you can see is lung diseases obstructive. That includes asthma, uh, bronchitis, and COPD. So now when I search for this, I will have a broader search. And now if I uh, think you know, I want to search for uh, chronic bronchitis alone, and I can click here, and I go down the tree, and I have a much narrower search. Right. That you can do is so, for example, uh, I'm searching for COPD. And I have added this to my search builder. Now I want to search for COPD along with, uh, say, tuberculosis. So, what I do is I will keep this in my search builder. So I've added it here. I will not do anything. I will go to the search bar, and I will search for TB. So now TB is a very vague term, and I will get a huge number of results here. Right? So let me try and be more specific. I'm searching for tuberculosis. And now I have uh, more relevant results here. I will click on the first result that is relevant to me. And now uh, what you will see is, in my search builder, this previous uh, search was al already there. I didn't uh, lose it. And now I am in the tuberculosis category. And what I am doing here is, I have still have this button, Add to Search Builder. Now I can choose what Boolean operator I want and or or not. I'm sure you understand these now. I will keep it at uh, and. And I have clicked on add. And what you see is COPD mesh term and tuberculosis mesh term. So what PubMed has done is it has put them all together. And now I can click on search PubMed. And I am taken to this page, which talks about COPD and tuberculosis both together. And what you will realize is the first article that is shown is tuberculosis and chronic obstructive airway disease, a systematic review. So this is probably the most appropriate article for the search that I have done. Right? This will uh, give me all the information that I need about these two diseases in a single article. And when I go here, and if I click on similar articles, now I have 124 articles that will all talk about uh, tuberculosis and COPD or something related to that. So this was uh, MESH. Again, uh, this is uh, a very basic or a startup of how you uh, will uh, use uh, PubMed.
but again uh, pubmed is just uh, the beginning here uh, pubmed is one of the databases that you can search uh, we have various other indexes that also have uh, with that also store articles medind is the indian medical index google scholar is also a free uh, search uh, web page that will let you search for articles or scholarly articles web of science embase uh, gestor these are all paid uh, search engines that also let you search for articles uh, there is also a repository called cochrane library now cochrane library is a repository of uh, very high quality uh, systematic reviews so if you uh, have paid attention while you were being told about types of studies systematic reviews are probably the highest quality of uh, studies they give the highest quality of uh, evidence and cochrane systematic reviews are probably uh, methodologically the strongest systematic reviews and cochrane library is a consortium of all these uh, systematic reviews in one place so this is also a good place to go to uh, try and research certain topics uh, the good thing is the government of india the medical library of the country pays for this subscription it's a paid subscription and uh, that makes it free for any indian from any uh, device where, as long as it is used from within the country so if you are you accessing cochrane library from within the country uh, it is free of cost so these are various other options where you can uh, try and look for literature and if nothing else works we have a beautiful library uh, we subscribe to a lot of journals a lot of uh, digital journals also and i'm sure uh, this this will also be of great help to you thank you so much uh, that is all from my end are there any questions